58, not having fought, as you see, in 488 days. Frank Bruno exits his dress. One of the interesting things about that loyal following is that many of them are betting against Tyson and some of the most, excuse me, against Bruno and some of the most curious betting I've ever seen. There's virtually no betting on who will 11th round against Tim Witherspoon. Of course, everybody remembers the last fight, which was 91 seconds. Frank Bruno enters the ring. We are told that he did not warm up a great deal in his dressing room, but he appears to have broken a sweat. You see the record, 32 wins, the two losses to Smith and Witherspoon, 31 knockouts. for. And there comes the gladiator. 242 days, 242 monumentally eventful days have passed in his life since the 91 second destruction of Michael Spinks. And Tyson dispenses with the towel with the hole in the middle of it and comes toward the ring in his typical fashion, already in a full frothing sweat and ready to go. According to some financial records that were released in some court actions, he spent almost $200,000 on clothes last year, but obviously none of them on sweat socks or robes. Mike Tyson has fought 35 times. Four different opponents have taken him the distance. There are very few here tonight who suspect that Frank Bruno will have a chance to become the fifth, much less to win the bout. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of London, England, weighing in at 228 pounds, or 16 stone, 4 pounds, with a professional record of 32 wins, 2 defeats, with 31 KOs, ladies and gentlemen, he is rated number world in the world by the WBC, he is the challenger, Frank Bruno. And in the red corner, from Catskill, New York, weighing 15 stone 8 pounds, or 218 pounds, he is undefeated in his professional career, 35 wins, 31 KOs, he is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Okay, listen. I gave both fighters their instructions in the dress room. I'm cautioning again. Obey my commands at all times. Is there any questions? Shake hands. Good luck. This will not be the first time that Mike Tyson and Frank Bruno have faced each other in a boxing ring when Tyson was 16 years old and Bruno was in this country to fight a boxer named Mike Jameson. They sparred for upwards of 20 rounds by most accounts Tyson got the better of his older opponent. And Tyson starts with a fury and Bruno tries to punch back. Bruno down after a right hand. It is scored as a knockdown. So we've had a knockdown in the first 20 seconds of the bout. Fastest knockout in heavyweight history, 55 seconds. I kind of figured this would be somewhat of a street fight. It's not really boxing right here. Mike Tyson is traditionally doing what he does in the, in the past. He's done the past, brother. Go inside. Bruno's trying to make him respect him. A lot of rabbit shots thrown. Back in the head, punch thrown by Frank Bruno. Watch him get out. Watch him get out. Richard Steele warning Bruno not to hold Tyson at the back of the head. Mike seems oblivious to the right hands from Bruno. He just wants to get in his throat. Somewhat of a smart tactic about holding on, but one thing about it, Bruno has a tendency, Jim, to stand straight up. As he throws his punches, he backs away, which leads him to stop looking up to him. Mike began with a fury going to the head. He has not yet thrown body shots. A lot of people thought would be Bruno's biggest problem early. There's blood from Bruno's nose. Come on, let him go, Frank. Solid 
Rabbit left and a right by Tyson. And now Bruno Rabbit punches Mike as he takes him to the rope. And again, it's a smart tactic by Frank Bruno. You know what's happening? Because Mike hasn't fought in a while. Mike is a little anxious now. He's trying to throw those shots. And referee Steele is trying to... Well, he's giving a warning. And Bruno's getting a useful breather here as Richard Steele takes plenty of time to sort things out. Still a minute to go in the round. You know, Bruno told us that he would be stronger than Mike Tyson. I don't particularly agree. Mike is incredibly strong. Tyson finally went to the body in that last exchange. Now Bruno lands the short left inside. And Tyson wobbles for a second. There's that puncher's chance I had talked about. And now another left hand from Bruno. And it is Mike Tyson who for a second there lost his balance. Mike was really rocked by that shot by Frank Bruno. The crowd here stunned by the early fury of this action. Bruno is going to make it out of the first round, and so for that matter does Tyson. One man down, the other man wobbled. I'll take it. <laughs> And as Mike Tyson said at the top of our show, he's back. Much more of warfare than we expected. But the referee has taken a point from Bruno. Let's take a look at the knockdown. This is that same knockdown. It was a short right inside that seemed to hurt Bruno, and then he went down from a shot on top of the head. And here is Bruno coming back with that right hand, and then the left, and there was a left that wobbled Tyson. But remember, the referee has taken a point away from Bruno. As round two begins, Tyson lands a solid left hook. It's apparent that Bruno is working on his left hand too because in the past it has always been his right hand that was able to do the damage. The left hook was able to daze and uh, hurt Mike Tyson. Punching it out! You go on back, Frank! Frank, step back, step back! See, even inside, Jim, I don't think it's good for Bruno to just stand there because because Tyson's hand, arms are shorter, he don't can get those little shots in there. Left hand to the body by Bruno and Tyson wailed back. What miss? Bruno needs a jab out there to keep Tyson off balance. Bruno's got the distance now that he needs to jab, but he hasn't started to throw it with any consistency. Just pawing with it so far. What he's what Bruno's doing. And it's all elementary. He's measuring with the jab and trying to drop the right hand. He just can't wait so long. Just keep it out, caught out there. Tyson with two chopping left inside. Bruno landed a right to the face of Tyson, but didn't have any leverage behind it. Go home, go home. The Englishman in the crowd chanting, Bruno, Bruno. Bruno here trying to outmuscle Mike Tyson like he stated earlier. Watch it get out, watch it get out. And certainly Tyson get out. exercising Let's more go, caution, go. perhaps with the memory of that short left hook. Caution and respect. Mike trying to drop that right hand in on there. Watch it get out. Trying to load watch it up. Which he might be able to do against a fighter as slow and mechanical as Bruno. Well, it's apparent that Bull's been doing some homework. Look at him. The uh, left hook, he turned it into an uppercut. And there's an uppercut Come from Tyson. But Frank yeah, Bruno yeah. has Break. shown us some monumental back. improvement with let's the left go, hand. Go, since his last appearance on HBO against Tim Witherspoon. I would like, if I was in Tyson's well, I would like to see some body shots. Because Bruno's a tall guy. The body shots would do some damage. Bring those hands down. Come on, work it out. 
Mike fanned the air mightily with the left hook. There's another short left inside by Bruno. He is astonishingly affected with it. Right hand by Tyson landed flush on the jaw. Bruno in trouble again. Mike's going to push it now. lost their bet for betting that this fight would end in the first two rounds. It was a sucker bet. Sometimes the suckers win. Usually they don't. 717 to come inside. That's all those much of the bad attention. Me. Now you're just like to get in. Don't lay up. How's that gap? Right? Get in the inside. Left there. Right? Use that left there to get you in there. Side to side. Right? Don't lay still. Right with that white when he comes. You're gonna stick him underneath like you did, okay? Frank, right, now get yourself. Frank, right, get okay. yourself together now. You can fucking do it, okay? I'm telling you. Come on. Come on. Here's Tyson with that straight right hand. Very good, straight classic right hand. Round three begins. Both fighters anticipated the bell, and Richard Steele had to pull them apart. Patrick, get out of there. Patrick, get out. Go hold him, Bruno. Go hold Tyson him. going to the body. Exactly. Go, this way he can bring some hands down, slow down the movement of uh, Frank Bruno. And Bruno continues to win respect inside, particularly with the left. You hold him, Frank. You hold him. Patrick, get out of there. Let's go. Come on, Patrick, get out of there. Patrick, get out of there. Mike Tyson, I recall, throws a bolo shot with the same hand. And I wait for that same shot to the body to the head. All right, Bert, come on, come on, come on. Tyson is not jabbing to get in as he did in his recent bout. He's just stepping in and throwing shots. A brutal body Patrick shot there. Patrick that shot out. that takes so much out of a point, especially later on. Come on, come on, come on. You hold him, you hold him. Mike appears to, he, he wants now to Bob and Lee to get in, and Coach uses his left jab. Come on, let's go, work and get out. Work and get out, Greg, come on, come Right hand by Tyson, partially blocked. Come on, work and get out, work and hold. Let him go, Mike, let him go. Come on, real Greg, come on, come on. Come on, Frank, get out! Go hold him, Frank! Some English observers said Bruno didn't know how to clinch and hold inside, but he's done a reasonable job of it so go, far. Frank, Jim, to prepare him for this kind on, of fight for the last year, they've had Bruno wrestling in mid-ring with the strongest man in Great Britain for this exact kind of fight. Now, I think it paid off because it gave him a sense of knowing how to tie his man up. It's very unorthodox, but it's work. Come on, work and get out. Let him go, Frank. You're holding, you're holding. All right, work. Come on, come on, come on, Mike. The most successful fighters against Tyson have been those who've been able to hold him and throw his rhythm off. All right, work. Come on. Mike is getting a lot of shots off here, but only one or two at a time, not in big bunches. Bruno chopping away with the right hand, not doing much damage, but making Tyson aware that he's willing to fight back. This has been a highly creditable effort so far by a Frank Bruno who could easily have been gone in round one. No holding, no holding. Some body shots by Frank Bruno. Come on, work and get out of there, work and get out. Work. A left hand after the bell by Tyson. And the Britishers in the crowd react. If he makes it through another couple of rounds, they'll give him Scotland. Gotta work this body a little bit more. Just set it up to the head. Body shots, baby. You gotta use a lot of them seven. A lot of seven. 
He must have been hit by the don't walk straight in. That's what he's waiting for. Right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook. Right hand, left hook. Right. Right. Now use a lot of seven to get in here. Stay inside. Alright, stay inside. Be mean in there. Larry Ebb got it 30 to 25 in favor of uh, Mike Tyson in the first round. Frank Bruno lost the point because of the knockdown and a point because Richard Steele took away a point for holding. And for the record, let's note that the chief second in Tyson's corner is not Jay Bright. It is Aaron Snowell who does most of the talking to the fighter. Tyson now is told to use the jab as opposed to walking in. And he's doing just that. He's not going to have to for too long if he lands another right hand like the one he just landed moments ago. But Bruno seems to be okay. Fuck it out! Blake, stop that! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Blood again now from Bruno's nose. Probably as a result of that early right hand on, in this round. No, hold it. Let go, Mike. What Let Bruno should be doing is throwing some uppercuts. As Mike comes in on, without using his left Let's jab, go. he needs to raise Mike's Let's chin. Go, Frank. Let's go, Let's go. Or either jab. I, I would suggest a jab because jab doesn't allow you to get in trouble. If you stick it out quick enough and snap it. That jab won't do him much good. It's a lazy, it's what we call, Jim, a lazy jab. On, lazy jab, it's always a counter right hand that follows it. It's the kind that Tyson will simply walk through. Left hook got just behind the glove of Bruno. Bruno with the left. Not as solid as the ones in rounds one and two. You're all in my... Come back, come back. Don't hold Bruno is a big man. He's a physically strong man. And I would, again, suggest that Tyson wear him down. The side plus rules are chopping the tree down. You come gotta on, kill the foundation. Come back. Come back. Come back. There's a body shot. That's what you mean by chopping the man down. And you see now, come Mike on, is going to get, uh, get off let the body go, attack. Get going back, Frank. But again, Ray, one or two punches at a time. Well, we need to see a series of combinations going to the midsection of Frank Bruno. Bruno needs to throw a step his jab. Come on, Frank, to get out of here. Get going, Frank. Pull him back. Come on, Frank. Pull him back. This is when it's dangerous for Frank Bruno because, again, he's an erect target as he stands straight up. All right, Frank, Frank. And that's why Mike jumps in with the left hook. Earlier in his career, Tyson had a tendency to be lazy in clinching, not to throw the body shots that were necessary. Then he stepped up the pace and was very effective with it. Tonight, there's been a little of both. Two, two stiff left jabs by Mike Tyson. No holding, Mike. Let him go. Come on. I'm sure Tyson's going to tell, tell him to work the body and use the jab as opposed to just going in with his head. And come straight up the middle and use the uppercut like that. He's been effective when he comes straight up the middle instead of winging shots from side to side. That cheer you hear is for the over and under of four rounds, which a lot of people bet. But what's going on here, gentlemen, is another Bone Crusher Smith Tyson fight, which it doesn't, which isn't the most beautiful kind of fight to watch. But Bruno is just trying to survive now. He's really not fighting. You're hurt the way you're falling in. Throw that right hand, twist it that way. Alright? Who's good? Knock it off. A fucking good wallop on the left foot fucking jab, okay? Come on. Come on. Come on. When it comes to this problem, why do you got a rock there? That is Aaron Snowell, the new face, whom you saw whispering into Tyson's ear. Let's see how far Tyson has come since that bone crusher come Smith on, fight, fight which was a very unsatisfying fight for him and the crowd. Let's see if he knows how to chop the man down. You know, Mike's getting a little uh, over anxious and he's coming in with his feet together and his chin exposed. 
I think he's been over anxious virtually since the opening well, bell, Well, Well, too many times people say, well, this fight won't go three Watch rounds or two rounds. And sometimes the fighter out. believes Watch that. Come on, come on. Frank Bruno doesn't believe it. Solid right hand inside by Tyson oh, again. Bruno, Bruno ties him up. I heard Bruno Coyne say, throw some uppercuts. No hold him, Frank. No hold Bruno him. trying that back. left hook inside, back. but the starch has gone out of it. No out longer does it hurt, Mike, the way it did in rounds one and two. All right, Frank. Come back, come back, Pre-fight interview with Punch Tyson's deposed Punch trainer Kevin Rooney. We should now report that Rooney has left that camera position and gone back to the Punch Golden Glove amateur out. boxing competition in Schenectady. He is not watching this fight. And remember that he said he thought the fight would be tougher than other people did. Look, I see so much body exposed of Bruno. Come on, Bruno. Get right. Come on, come. It's like an open invitation. Left hook inside. And an uppercut with the right. And Bruno is wobbled again. Bruno will try to hold on. Tyson tries to get punched in room and hits Bruno with an elbow in the mouth. Uppercut, uppercut, right hand. Bruno's in serious trouble. A left hook. And Richard Steele watching carefully. Keeping Bruno up at this moment, there is blood trickling from his nose and his mouth. Tyson really doing damage with the uppercut. Just this with the right. Trying to land the one haymaker. Parking it out, parking it out. Oh, he's, it's just a matter of time here. That's a shot. That's a, that's a, a bolo shot. And beautiful Richard shot. And Steele has seen enough. As Terry Lawless throws in the towel simultaneously. That was a shot, Jim. That double shot with the same hand. And what you saw there, as I said earlier in the round, is a, a mark of the progress of Mike Tyson from a good, raw, Thank you, young heavyweight into a great heavyweight who knew how to go about his work. Official time, 2.55 of round number five. Thank you. In a professional execution, Mike Tyson makes relatively short work, not as short as some believed it would be, but relatively short work of a game challenge by Frank Bruno. A game challenge by Frank Bruno. Bruno held his own. Forget about what the critics thought. Bruno was in there. He was able to hurt Mike Tyson, gain some respect, but Tyson, as usual, was able to come back strong and uh, put Frank Bruno out of the fight game. So victory number one for the new team Tyson. Victory number one for the corner group of Aaron Snow and John Horn and Jay Bright. Well, Mike Tyson just started his momentum, started building up his points and his punches, and here's, he's starting to wear down Frank Bruno. I like the, the loop in right hand. Some miss, but you know, Jim, the punch that really did the most damage was the uppercuts. Little short uppercuts. Now here is the same action, and there you saw the left hook inside that started it, much as was the case in his destruction of Michael Spinks, followed by a right uppercut solidly to the face of Bruno, and after that, the challenger was just holding on. And there was a moment there where Tyson got inside and smashed an elbow into Bruno's mouth to make punching. There's the uppercut. Those right. are the short uppercuts that do so much damage, and uh, people just don't appreciate those little short shots. Now, what's these shots here with the same hand? Again, the left hook has been doing a great deal of j uh, damage to Frank Bruno in the earlier round. A lot of them missed, but the punch that did get through, Jim, were able to... Slow down, Frank Bruno. That shot there, the uppercut. Beautiful combination. Now, now watch as he goes to the body, and he doubles his shots up. 
All right, here now the sequence which ended the bout as Richard Steele ultimately decided he had seen enough. And at this moment, Terry Lawless, the manager of Frank Bruno, was running along the ring apron with a towel in hand, asking Steele to stop it. It's a double punch with the same hand to the body and to the chin. Here it is, to the midsection, right up the middle. Beautiful shot. He's hurt a lot of guys. In fact, he knocked out with Balkan the same way. You see the leverage of Mike Tyson. There, to the body and straight up the middle. I'm going to use that shot one day. Has any heavyweight ever thrown the uppercut with such devastating effect? Not that way. And Jim is short and powerful and great of leverage. Certainly not in recent memory. Has anyone used that punch? In the middle, right there. Straight up. Right there. Oh, beautiful shot. He once offended some members of the boxing press when he said after knocking out Jeff